Welcome to the IFRS YouTube channel. These are summary videos that uh, summarizes the presentations done through Zoom platform by the International Federation of Rural Surgeons for rural surgeons working uh, all over the world. So this particular presentation was done by University of Leeds. And there were three presentations. The first one was by Dr. Noel. And uh, these are regarding the gasless laparoscopic surgeries <clears throat> and the project of University of Leeds, which was uh, helping the project. The objective of the project was to build network and to define the unmet surgical need and uh, develop solutions for it, and also work on uh, health economics, and finally do advocacy for that. This rose because of the two things which happened uh, earlier. One was that uh, the WHO recognized surgical disease as a public health problem, because about a third of uh, global disease burden is surgical. And again, in India, the Lancet Commission on Global Surgery conducted a meeting in uh, 2015 in a place called Karad and came out with the consensus statement which defined the need for innovation. So the University of Leeds project chose the Northeast India to work on the objectives that they had uh, described earlier. The reason uh, why they chose about gasless surgery is that they found that uh, the regular or conventional laparoscopy surgery significantly lowers the surgical site infection and morbidity. And obviously, the laparoscopic uh, uptake in uh, LMICs is, is very low because of the expenses and the logistics involved. So, but even in the LMICs, those who had laparoscopic surgeries had uh, less complications. Hence, uh, based on the recommendation from Lancet Global Surgery, the University of Leeds project worked on uh, finding out solutions. So they worked out what we call the target study to train uh, surgeons who are already working in uh, rural or remote areas and uh, train them in gasless laparoscopic surgery and use the uh, validated programs like the FLS and uh, do evaluation through validated programs like MISTELS, OSATs, and GOALS criteria. And this is to do a systematic study to find out uh, how we can train uh, rural surgeons in gasless laparoscopic surgeries. So this is the standard task of the FLS program. And the first uh, training program is conducted in the medical college in Calcutta. And uh, here we see the rural surgeons who came for the training and the faculty from uh, various medical colleges who were involved in uh, training those rural surgeons. As expected, uh, the various scores improved significantly after the training and all the improvements show an upward trend. The OSATs and gold score were used for analysis. And here again, the, there was a significant improvement in the various scores. This is the equipment that was used for evaluating. And the, the next stage of the program was to conduct what we call proctorship in the rural hospitals. This is Dr. Bichu who works in a rural hospital at the Bhutan border. And this, this is him using the gasless surgery in his uh, operating room. So the next stage was to sort of develop on the existing equipment in a responsible, frugal and collaborative way. So the first need which uh, they felt was that we need to train the rural surgeons in uh, acquiring uh, laparoscopic uh, skills. So they, and again, this is uh, based on the various needs. 
and the university of leeds uh, helped or started with uh, developing a very low cost uh, equipment for training because the uh, commercial ones which are available are pretty expensive and uh, they wanted to validate the low cost equipment and uh, how it fares compared to the standard validated equipment so they spent sufficient time uh, doing the validation in both in leeds and in india and came out with the ultra low cost uh, training device which is called lab pack and uh, this was introduced during the association of rural surgeons uh, conference which is an international conference we had delegates from uh, the various african countries and uh, also in uh, medical colleges in calcutta and uh, delhi and the analysis found there was no significant difference in the learning whether you use the standard equipment or the ultra low cost equipment and then they went on to develop the second generation of uh, the equipment that we use for gastric surgeries here again uh, they follow the standard uh, way of understanding innovating evaluating and then finally trying to manufacture a low cost equipment and uh, this is a I mean a team which is in uh, worked in leads to develop which had uh, people from the medical college there then the from india and from the industry and biomedical engineering so this is the some of the problems to there with the older equipment which is called a stand laparoscopy positioner here this is quite heavy and uh, fairly long so it is difficult to sterilize and uh, it was a little bit difficult to use in people with the higher bmi so after thoroughly studying the older equipment they went on to device a new one and uh, several after several attempts this is the new device which they come up with which can be easily fitted into a small suitcase weighs about uh, half the weight of the earlier one and uh, offers all the advantages of the earlier one which once uh, it's thoroughly evaluated and uh, various approvals uh, there could be used in uh, all over the world thank you